Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. It's about 2 a.m. and we're headed to Copart in Kentucky. Hopefully we'll pick ourselves a new build. We're going out, there's about 500 cars playing. Hopefully we'll find something nice. I don't know, but let's hit the road and get there in the morning. guys so six and a half hours later and we are here in Kentucky Copa we made it no problem and we're ready but basically the today there's about 500 cars playing we have about 10 on our list that we're really trying to get we actually came with the trailer so we hopefully we'll pick one up and bring it back home depending on how they go depending on how they look but they are playing so we're kind of at a time crunch because the auction is today and we only have like an hour or two but I mean hopefully we'll get some rebuild it like this truck it did great big wheels and everything hey we lifted it rebuilt it and it's doing fine. It had no issues driving here, right, Ivan? It was. It, it was drove good. great. You know, the balance is good on it. It drove fine. straight. So. Yeah, really happy with it. I mean, it was totally wrecked. That rear end was falling apart, but we got it and rebuilt it. It was a challenge, but it happened. Also, Copart is actually doing a rebuild challenge that you can enter to get a chance to win Copart money, basically a gift certificate to Copart to buy vehicles. So super exciting. We'll tell you more about it. But let's go and check those cars out. Okay, so the first car on our list is a 2014 Ford F-150 XLT. I mean, sometimes we do exotics, big cars, little cars, and sometimes we just do daily drivers. I mean, everybody needs a good, solid F-150 in life. So this one doesn't look too bad. It's a run and drive. I mean, it looks like it's in good condition. Front bumper, we're gonna check it out, make sure the radiators are good and see how bad the damage is. It's really nice so you could preview the vehicles and see kind of where you're getting into. So it's pretty cool. Let's check it out and see how bad the damage is. Goes. So we got radiator fluid. That's, That's a really nice. good sign. This is a V6. Right. So. It's not the 50, which is more desirable. But at the same time, it's whatever. Probably better on gas. You know, depends on what you need to do. Work truck. Uh, yeah. But the rebar looks good. The frame rails look pretty straight. So all this thing needs is what upper lip, a bumper. And we're good. Yeah. Honestly, not too bad at all. I would say definitely gonna play on it. Just depends how much it goes for. You kind of want to do your research, see what they can sell for, because you don't get it. It's kind of a profit game, so we want to make sure it's worth our time. But well, this thing does bad. play today, so we got like what an hour before it plays, maybe a little less. So we'll see what it goes for. Yeah. If anything, we can throw on the trailer, or you can drive it home. Ooh, I don't know about driving home because because the tire is rubbing right here. Yeah, that bumper is all in it. I mean, Come there's on. a will, there's a way. If we had to, then we probably could. But it's, you we've know, done it's worse. Fine. We've done worse. Yeah, that's not a big deal. But it's not uh, bad. We'll save it and let's keep going to our next car. All right guys, so our next on the list, we have a 2016 Kia Soul. This one had minor damage all around, but it didn't look anything crazy. Something you could fix, you know, fender swap kind of thing in your garage, minor tools kind of thing. So yeah, let's check it out and see, you know, if it's worth playing kind of thing. Cause it is a run and drive. It's got a little bit of damage in the front, but you can order a bumper or a fender. It'd be a great first car for somebody. Yeah, I mean, headline to buff out. Good About miles. 95,000 miles on it, not too bad. All around so far, it's looking pretty good. Got some more damage on this side, but I mean, maybe that'll that'll come off. You know, that'll buff out. Is the window broken? Yeah, yeah, I see glass. So you got a bad window, but it's not taped up, so it might have some water damage too because of that. But it's been airing out, that's for sure. I also noticed the key ignition switch. Looks like somebody was messing with it, broke it. Yeah. Maybe it was stolen. Probably. That kind of makes sense, you know, just running away. Still like the drove, you know, but who knows? Let's start it and make sure it sounds okay. Cause let's check the oil. Yeah. Let's pop the let's hood. Check the stuff. Yeah, it's going. Hood shocks are working, so that's nice. Okay. 
plenty of oil. It looks good. So yeah, I mean nothing too crazy so far. This, this the is the radiator okay. full of coolant or no. it's kind of pouring. Yeah. Oh yeah, to the top. That's good. Let's go ahead and start it. If we can. Fire up. Is there any lights on the dash or anything? Or any airbags deployed? Nothing. I got no lights on the dash, no airbag light. My doors are open. Michael, you look good in this thing. We can lower it, put some wheels on it, custom paint job, yellow. It's so a camster. I mean, good it's, gas. Not, it's not bad, you know, it's probably good on gas and a little, you know, it's pretty roomy in here. There's all sorts of different rebuilds, guys. Some, you know, daily drivers and some are crazy cars, so. Some you lift up some trucks, put some weak wheels on it, some you just lower, slam, and or keep stock. Yep. Everyone's a little different, but, but it hey. depends how much this one goes for. Because I mean, if it does, if it goes cheap enough, we can make a profit. We're gonna buy it. Yeah. Why not? We came with the trailer, and we also came with you driving. Oh boy. All right, guys. Next on the list is a 2004. Ford Lightning. I mean, these things are a classic. This is like Fast and Furious style kind of thing. Imagine having this like a shop truck, slam, nitrous bottles, all that fun stuff. But I mean, it's supercharged. It's yeah, fast. It's, it's got it's room rare. in the back. It's two wheel drive. Pretty cool. I mean, V8. There's plenty of power. This thing, this thing will move for sure. Plus, I've always wanted one. I mean, I mean it's definitely unique. Um, let's see if it's salvageable. I mean, front end head. No, it says run and drive, but don't know how many miles are on it. Kind of thing. 2004, so that might be racked up, but. And also we noticed uh, there's a kind of, some kind of cooler down there. Hopefully it's not the oil cooler, because then that's bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, you definitely don't want to run out of that oil, but. So that's dragged out. Uh, the frame rolls look like it got shifted right there, but that can be pulled back no problem. Maybe we can do like a facelift on it. Who knows, yeah. Make it look a little newer kind of thing. So here's why we really came. Look at that supercharger. It's got an aftermarket intake on it. Looks like a stock pulley and no nitrous, Michael. That's okay. There's always room to grow, you know, kind of thing. But hey, it'd be nice to rebuild this thing. Like we mentioned before, the rebuild challenge is coming and this would be kind of perfect for it. It's unique, it's one of a kind. There's definitely a fan club for these kind of vehicles for sure out there. And instead of scrapping this thing, get it back in the road. So that would be a really cool rebuild to do at home and, you know, show all your rebuild friends, hey, check it out. Plus it's like, it's old school. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like we said, we do new stuff, old stuff, and it's all kind of the same. So if we can't get this, one of you guys can get this. And it'd be really cool to rebuild this thing. But let's go ahead and check out the... Because it looks like this whole front end shifted over. See how this fender's caved in? So this bumper wow. is shifted over. But parts on this thing is actually really cheap. Really? Yeah, so it's got a fiberglass bed. Look at oh. that dual exhaust on the side. That side exhaust. Cool. Anyway. You need some big wheels on it. It's like 20s, maybe 22s. SVT. SVT. But look at that bed. I mean, you can still haul some stuff with it, you know? It's got a little trailer here, so you can tow a car with it if you really wanted to. But it's looking pretty cool. It's got a little bit of fiberglass damage there, but we can fix that, no problem. But let's go ahead and check out the interior. Little keypad right there. It's like a futuristic old school thing nowadays, so that's pretty cool. Lock it, unlock. Wow, the airbag is missing. The other one's deployed. I don't know, go see if there's got any power in it. So there's the airbag right there. Yeah, we're good. We have a key, but no power. That's unfortunate. We should maybe ask for a jump box, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Some yards allow it, some yards don't. So it just depends. Well, let's check the oil on this thing and the coolant, and we'll go from there. Looks like it's got oil in it. So maybe that cooler is a coolant. So this one's got nothing in it. And I think it has a cooler for the radiator, or for the supercharger. So maybe that's a supercharger. Cooler? cooler? Yeah, that'd, that'd be a good case. That's that a good one, case. Yeah, those coolers go out, run out oil. It's never good. You get knocking real quick. All right, guys, moving right along. We got a 2020 Kia Soul. So definitely newer looking kind of thing. Also vandalism. Looks like all the glass is broken, but let's just see if that's all the damage. Cause glass can be replaced. That's not too bad, I would say. I mean, we got a glass guy, so. Yeah. 
So you gotta look at the parts. I mean, if it's a quarter panel, definitely more intensive work. If you got some bolt on, bolt off parts, not too bad for your rebuild. But if it's just glass work, that should be fine. I'm surprised they salvaged it out just for glass, but. Well, I mean, it was vandalized, so maybe there's some interior damage, but the side looks pretty good. That glass is broken, that glass is broken. Hey, they left a corner glass. That's nice. Those are expensive, actually. Those are a pain, yeah, surprisingly. Back the back glass. glass. Yeah. Oh, there's a little dent right here. Another little dent right there. Very minor, I would say, so far. So I'm counting about five pieces of glass so far, but not bad. Everything else is okay. Minor scratches and dents on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop the hood, make sure the oil's good, and see if it starts. All right, guys, it's kind of interesting. I guess it might have been stolen to you or something kind of thing. Ignition's all taken apart, but I mean, I think we can put it back together. It is a running drive, so just kind of put that back in there, right? Yeah. So let me, uh, let's pop the hood. Doesn't yeah. look like it's got any power. Put jump box to it and go from there. Okay, even though it says run and drive, we can't get it to start. And I know it's just glass damage, but man, that is definitely a risk if you can't get it to turn over. It's well, like, if it was vandalized, who knows if they put like, you know, something in the oil or something in the gas and yeah. some cut wires somewhere, missing modules. So I wouldn't say it's a quick flip, you know, unless it goes super cheap, but let's keep going. Yeah, there's always more. All right, guys, almost missed it, but the F-150 is playing. I clicked it once. All right, somebody just outbid me. Mexico's going at it. $3,200 so far. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I mean, if that's, of course, it's beginning 32.5. What's our budget? I mean, what are we going for? At least 4K. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's reasonable. So what kind of strategy should I go? Should I like, I'm not interested and kind of wait till the last second? No, just, hit it? just play. Aggressive, we're going like, I want this thing. Hey, that's, that's just, mine. Just don't double click. All right, don't double click because that, that could happen too. Me and Mexico are going at it. It's kind of international, but there's no way he came to check this thing out. So he's just, you know, going blind at it. Well, we checked it out. We liked it. You yeah. Know. How much is it at? Three thousand eight hundred. Wow. You got to think about the copar fees still. Right. So, but I think there's still room to, you know, sell it and fix yeah, it up. So three thousand nine hundred. Come on, Mexico. Let it go. It's a nice little quick flip. Thirty-nine. I think we're gonna go forty. Forty-two is probably what we're gonna go for. We're at four thousand right now. It's usually like the the breaker. Ooh, he went, and I'm going for 4,100. I don't know, we'll see. I, I think we're gonna, I think he's gonna let it go. Gut feeling, intuition, oh. All right, so 42, that's what we thought. I think I think we're pretty good right there, right? Yeah. Man, he hit it again. One more. Another 50 bucks. What's $50 more? Jeez, you gotta know when to stop though. But I like this one. It's nice. You hit it again, Ivan. Should we let it go? No, no, keep going. Man, he's stubborn. I mean, we are too, so. That's crazy. He really wants it. What is it at? 4,400. So 4,500. That's That's it. Yeah. Yeah, we, that, we should stop there. Yeah, Self-control. You know, there's plenty of cars out there. This guy really wants it for that. Bonus time, so he didn't click it. Oh man! Did he click it? Not yet. We're almost—it's almost there, and he clicked it. All right, he can have it. You sure? Come on, one more click. I no, we're done. Let's, let's one keep going. more. It's right there. It's bonus time. All right, click it. <laughs> Dang, four thousand six hundred. I know it's a little truck, but it's still exciting. It's still fun. Okay, four thousand seven hundred. You win, Mexico. You can have it, buddy. All right. The key is about to play, so let's play that. Yeah, I mean, moving right along, let's play next one. Dang, guys, while we were playing the F-150, basically the Kia Soul was outbid and the sell price was 2,200. So, dang, we missed it, basically, because there's multiple lanes going at the same time, so they could do multiple cars, you know, save time kind of thing. But we ended up missing this one because we were playing that one and we didn't get that one. So, nothing so far, but hey, we're going to keep looking and hopefully we'll get something. So 
this thing's got 110,000 miles on it, which ain't bad at all for 2004. I mean, I see 2020s with more miles than that. Okay, so the auction is moving forward and we're not getting anything, so I'm kind of nervous, but hey, we're just gonna go down the list because there's only a few that we actually kind of want. Here's this Honda Accord, let's check it out. So this one, the airbags did deploy on this one. It has minor front end damage, so whatever hit, hit exactly into the airbag. The seat belts are good, so that's kind of a good sign. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. We'll check the radar support, the frame rails, and go from there. So far it's looking pretty good. Like I said, pretty minor. Front rebar is okay. Underneath so. looks good. It looks like the condenser got a little ding, but that looks fine. Um, what about the airbag sensors? Is that an airbag sensor? Probably. No, I don't think so. Maybe. So we're checking Ooh. oil right now. How's the oil looking? I mean, the oil looks okay, but this dipstick's seen better days. Didn't really get much. I didn't know they could rest like that. That's pretty crazy. I think it's hot. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah. But the radiator, let's see. Is there pressure in the coolant? Oh, there's pressure. Yeah, it's, so. It's pretty good. I mean, I think we can start it. See what it sounds like. Start right up. Yeah, start right up. I mean, not too bad. Any lights on the dash? We got an ABS light. We got the airbag light on there. And we're low on gas. Oh man, all the expensive stuff. But power steering feels okay. We got heated seats in here. We got a sunroof. What? This is a nice one, for sure. Be a nice little fix, right? Yeah, not too bad. Let's see if it'll roll. It goes in gear, that's good. Yeah, it goes in gear. All right, let's keep going because yeah. this one's probably gonna play soon, but we got other ones to check out. I like this. right along we got ourselves a ford transit we actually fixed so many of these things i mean I, countless for sure definitely it was like a season of transits that's all we did was we picked up a bunch of them so we actually have a lot of parts left over and we have a door um i don't know if i got a headlight these are kind of expensive headlights are kind of but we probably bad. have a fender we probably have the quarter panels we have a lot of parts yeah this little fender is like what four hundred dollars three four hundred dollars it's, it's crazy this little piece of metal but i guess supply and demand kind of thing if you want you got to pay the price but this is a short one. This is a uh, 250, so it's the smaller yeah. suspension. But same engine. It's like 3.7, I think, V6. I mean, they're great little cars. They're nice little cargo vans because you put all your tools in there. And they have to worry about the weather, people stealing stuff because it's enclosed. So they're great on gas. A little V6 is really reliable. I think 3.7, right? That's really nice. So very solid. Or did a great job with these. Any airbags deploy? I mean, how's the... Because this is almost like a mailman truck right now. Yeah. No door, quick in and out kind of thing like deliveries on the go so the door's not a big deal that kind of is an issue to get this replaced that that's work for sure because they're a kind lot of like, work they're interlocked and to replace that, this thing i got to take that panel off and yeah that's definitely a doozy but hey you know depends what you need it for if you're just going job site to job site you're gonna get dinged up anyway so i don't know it's not too but bad this side's pretty bad but the other side i think is pretty good it's only this side of damage right right i mean it started right up so it's running actually right now not too bad at all. All the front end stuff is not damaged. It's a good sign. Radiant condensers, all that's good. So we kind of like it. Yeah. This side has the mirrors, flat tire. Pretty cool. What's inside? The door. We can put it back on. Look at that. It's probably bad, but at least the door's there. That's nice. Just in case you need the wiring or something else kind of thing. It's nice set of parts. The, the key lock, right, for the yep. door lock. We definitely yep. need that. So we're, we're gonna play this thing. It depends how much it goes for, because the price of them went up like crazy. It did, it's pretty insane. That's why we stopped working on them, but we actually did a video on one, got like a million views, so it's interesting. Some people really like Fort Tran. All right, we'll let's play. keep going, because we got yeah. more to look at. Oh yeah. Right along guys, 2012 Subaru WRX. This thing is pretty sweet, lots of mods on it. Like we said, that's a huge announcement. The Copart Rebuild Challenge is coming. So basically start looking guys. And if you're not a member, make sure you check out copart.com. Even check out Nico 20 to get a 20% off discount when you sign up. I mean, can't miss out guys. This is coming along. Now is the time to sign up and get yourself a car to rebuild. 
Why not? Because we actually did rebuild a WRX on the channel already, remember? We did, yeah. But, that, it was pretty nice. But this one is way nicer. This one's already lowered. It's actually got a lot of aftermarket parts on it. And on these, engines go bad on them. So we have to check it out. Yeah, we definitely want to start it, see how it's going. But if this is all the damage... So I need some new wheels. Definitely. Wheel is busted. Probably some suspension work. Maybe low control arm, things like that. Fender. But right here is kind of where it gets hard. because. Well, it's a unibody. The door is not crooked too much. So that could be pulled out, you know, replace it. Uh, the door still opens and closes the gaps are not that bad so it did pop out here a little bit that means it's pushed in on the bottom but not a big deal but no airbags deployed yeah so you just got to watch out because if you're going to get yourself a rebuild you basically don't want to get burned out you want to make sure you can finish it to the end because you got to get that wheel to finish because you'll start it get all excited and then you wait for some parts and sometimes you just you drop the ball so make sure you get into something that you know you're going to be able to fix and get it done i mean that doesn't look too bad but it, it, it could be worse so it depends on worse. Where you're ready to face well let's check out the goodies on this thing yeah. so it's got the wheels it's lowered it's got a really huge exhaust look at that exhaust right there sheesh this, this reminds me of our youth no oh yeah for sure it gets you excited want to rebuild it again you're like that's fun until you uh realize the gas mileage on it yeah i mean it's not you know gas saver but smiles per gallon is what they say but interior is pretty clean it's got aftermarket shifter stock radio stock seats it is a wrx let's pop the hood and check it out Here we go, look, aftermarket intercooler, aftermarket intake, a little shield, the oil looks good. The battery is dead, so we're gonna turn, you know, we're gonna jump it. It's got an aftermarket blow up valve. Nice. So a bunch of, bunch of cool little parts, you know. Let's see if the turbo is, well, it's got a downpipe. I don't know about a turbo, maybe it's stock, maybe it's not, but, I'll drive it. Yeah. Pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. Power steering struggling a little bit, but not bad. Yeah, it definitely sounds nice. But the engine sounds healthy. That's the biggest right. thing. Yeah, everything else, maybe a line or something kind of low on fluid or... So pretty much here's the damage. I mean, this is definitely fixable. I mean, this can be chopped, replaced, section pulled. Not a big deal. No check engine light, no airbag light. Literally just says I got a low tire pressure. Probably true. My tires are probably low. There's both of them are flat, so pretty cool. So here is another Tesla, because we rebuilt one, so we're kind of familiar with it. We can fix another one. So it's, it's playing today, so might as well check it out. It's a black one, it's a 2018, the Model 3. I don't know if it's a long range or not. It was, let's see if it was a run and drive. It was not a run and drive. So maybe the battery's dead. Let's see if it opens. It's got the cameras oh, all around, well, nice. It's got the cameras, it's got power. That's cool. They got some parts inside. Oh, there it is. So it did turn on. That's the front tub. It's got a fender. But does it have the headlight? Ooh, it might have the headlight in here. Nice. Parts are always nice. I mean, parts are actually really expensive on this. Like, I did not think they're that expensive, but they're expensive and they add up. Dual motor. Dual motor. So this is all-wheel drive. So technically, it wastes more battery. That's so, how I see so it. So if I get this one, I'm going to be faster than yours. And faster than Lily's, your wife's, yeah? Well, then you have to buy it for your wife, then. Then they can race, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, it looks like this section, we're not going to peel it, but this can be fixed. The skin, the skin's probably going to cost like $1,000. Usually, it's just for that, which is kind of crazy. And the door is probably $800 each. So, it's going to add up pretty quick. The fender, I think they're like three, four hundred dollars The front bumper, I actually have a front bumper, so. But they have the front bumper here. But everything else looks like it's good. That's the front bumper? It looks like the back bumper. Yeah, it's the front bumper. And actually, it is a run and drive. Yep, oh, there it is, yep. How many miles are on it? Let's go ahead and look inside. So this one is asking for the keys. And here's the key, so that's nice. That's the key? That's the key, yeah. So this one has... Okay, so this is a long range. So it's got the bigger battery, all-wheel drive. That's pretty nice. It's only got 32,000 miles on it. So this one's probably gonna go for a pretty good penny. It is in service mode, not a big deal. 
but no airbags deployed, nothing like that. No airbags deployed. Seatbelts are good. I mean, the airbag light is on, so maybe maybe because the door's off though. The door's on. The impact yeah. sensor. Yeah. But other than that, it's got two percent of battery life, so we need to hurry up and turn it off because we don't want this thing to die. But will it roll forward? You think? Oh, it is running drive, so it, it should run drive. Should drive. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. That's pretty good. But we gotta see what it goes for because we do have some parts. It'd be fun to fix another one. We go from there. All right, guys, the Transit is playing right now, 5,800. We're just gonna go for one click. We're not gonna try to be aggressive. We're not gonna play a lot on it because honestly, it does have a lot of work on it. One click, that's it, here we go. 5,800, bid placed, Florida. I think they're trying to bid it up. Dealer's selling it. I don't know, let it go? Yeah. All right, one more. Oh, oh somebody else hit into it, yeah. Now they're starting dueling. I mean, we know what they sell for, so there's no point of overpaying. Yeah, these parts are expensive. It adds up quick, and there's still so much work to do on it. We would have got it if it was a cheap deal. I mean, we picked them up before for like $3,000, $2,000 sometimes. That's pretty crazy, but... Jeez. What is it on now? 6700 So it's almost $7,000. I mean, by the time you bring it home, yeah. $7,500 at least. Yep, it's still going. Dang, $7,000. We're definitely not gonna get it. That's okay. I rather oh. would've got the F-150, you know, I think that would've been a better deal for us. 7,200, 73, 75. All right, let, let's, just, let's just log out and keep you looking. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, I'm just gonna waste time, but I'm, I'm really curious now to see how much this thing goes for. But it also can be bid, bid up, so. Yep. It's Florida again, winning for 7,500. They could have it. I've accidentally bought stuff before too, so you definitely gotta be careful when you swing your thumb over. Buy a car real quick. 7,500. All right, guys, so this SVT just went for $8,900, which isn't bad, but it's kind of hard to see if it's worth it for us right now, depending on the parts, how much they sell for. They're actually really rare and hard to find, so I don't know. That could be a really good deal. I think somebody got a steal deal, but it wasn't us. All right, guys, we're waiting for a Honda Accord to play. And there's another Honda Accord. We're going to check this one out. It's a 2014. Mexico's going at it. 3100 Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're just waiting for other cars to play and just watching the auction kind of thing. You know, who knows? Since we're here, might as well pick something up kind of thing, but 3,200, 3,300. I didn't even look at it. Okay, I'm out bit. I don't know. I think it's a little much. What do you think? Yeah, we didn't look at it, so yeah. it's not bad, but. I bid on it, but pass. We're waiting for ours to play, and it's about to play in about three minutes. All right, here we go. It's the Honda Core that we checked out is playing um, right now. Hopefully, it picks something up. I, man, it's like everything's been going so high today. Just I don't know. Everybody got tax money or something going on. Everybody wants to spend money. Six thousand, six thousand two hundred. I don't even know our cap. I just kind of want it. Sheesh. Let's keep going. Wow, Tennessee. That makes more sense. They probably checked it out too. Let's call it one second, guys. Are you winning? No, I'm losing six thousand nine hundred. Seven thousand or seven thousand dollars right now. Plus fees, we're looking at eight. I don't I think we're good, Michael. That's about it. There's gonna be more. No, oh, we're at seven thousand, and we're winning it. Oh, we're winning at seven. We're winning at seven thousand. It's bonus time, so we might just get this one. All right, we won one. So not a steal deal. I wouldn't say it's a killer deal, but you know, why not? It'll be a good one to rebuild. It should be pretty quick. But was it pure sale? Or it was. It was pure sale, so we should be able to pick it up and hopefully get it today. Well, we still got the one car to play too, so we'll go from there. Yeah. Come on, load, screen, load. It's glitching out. No, no, no. Get ready. What does that mean? Sold on approval. I didn't even get to play on it. Dang. My phone glitched out and I wasn't even able to click on it. Well, we were winning it though. We pre bedded it. How much should we go for? I don't remember. I don't know whether to check that count. I don't know. I'll let you know. 
Woo. So we missed it playing live, but luckily we put a pre-bid on it and we actually ended up winning it, but it's on approval. So basically now we just have to go well, back and forth. Let's see what they want for it. So they're asking seller minimum is 3,650. We got it for 2,900. Which, which let's, let's go up to 3,000, go counter them. So counter bid them. 3,000. $3,000. Okay, so we want 50 bucks basically, or $100. And then hopefully they'll go down, we'll meet in the middle somewhere and be good to go. So, so Wait. far we almost have two cars. Yeah, not bad. Let's try to get some more. Alright guys, so huge announcement, the Copart Rebuild Challenge is coming, so make sure you stay tuned and look for that. Submissions are starting June 19th, so you still have plenty of time to start looking through Copart, find yourself a good build, start getting an idea and making a plan, and let's rebuild it. So honestly, it just depends on what you want to rebuild, make it personal, find something you enjoy rebuilding, if it's a classic hot rod to a new Audi, I mean really, there's so many different options you could do, but something that you want to finish to the end because you can't just start and stop it. Make sure you find something and get it done. All you have to do is be a Copart member. And if you're not a member yet, go ahead and sign up today and get a 20% off disco with Nico 20. So, you know, just get a little break there. Why not? Everybody enjoys a little coupon once in a while. Thanks for watching guys. We want ourselves two vehicles. We have to bring them back. We have one trailer, so that's gonna be interesting. But make sure you subscribe, leave some comments down below. Which one are your favorite build? Which one we should rebuild, make a video on? Hey, we love your feedback. Thanks guys, see you next time.